long polling. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell whether uh, something, such a term, such as long polling, is it is it a technology? Is it just a term that we name how something operates? Uh, is it a library that you import? Uh, what is it? Because it's not only related to long polling, it's also related to what is a pool. Because polling is different than pooling. Obviously, they're all dealing with communications from clients to services. But there is a difference between a pool and a pool, as, as close as they may sound. Uh, on top of that, we have web sockets, we have SSC server side events, and all these just add to the number of terms that we have for such technologies or such description of such technologies which deals with communication from client to server. Basically, a simple request response, a polling, a push, a long polling, a server-side event, whatever you name them, they are all solving, trying to solve one thing, communication from one device to another, be it the, the one device, be it a server, be it a mobile phone, communication from one device to another. So if, if I want just to get an image, then maybe I would satisfy with a simple request. Request, hey, hey server, I'm the client, hello, I'm an Android uh, such and such. Nice to meet you. I want this image. Give it back to me. The server will reply. Okay, here is the image. But if I'm a Telegram client and I'm going to say, give me all the new messages, then this is like something different because I would need to keep asking, give me all the new messages, and then after another second, give me all the new messages, and then after another second, give me all the new messages, hey, Telegram. So would I do a request every such second? This would bomb the server, right? Also, in, in many cases of this request, the server would just tell me, hey, I have no messages for you. Hey, I have no message for you. So it could be that for hours and hours, I would ask Telegram servers, give me new messages with a simple request response. And the Telegram message server would check if I have new messages, would conclude that I have no new messages and give me no new messages. So, so, so this is where long polling comes into place, basically I ask the server in a simple request response, give me new messages, the server will then see that I, if, it, if I have new messages, the server will return the new messages, and I as a client am responsible to close the connection. That's it. Finish the long polling. The, the long polling could be short polling if the server has immediately new messages for me. Because I would ask the server, give me new messages, the server tell me, here is your new message, and I as a client would close the connection. Versus in SSC, side events, I would not close the connection. So in the long polling, I would ask, give me new messages for the server, the server will check if I have new messages, and if I don't have new messages, in opposition to a regular request response, uh, he would not give back the result, you have no messages. He would just wait, wait, wait until I have a new message and only then reply. So I, w I would have this request unresolved, unreplied, until I have new messages. And then as a client, I would close it. So, and, and this would this waste resources? Not necessarily, because me as a client, I can do other stuff. I'm just waiting for the server, right? We, we can do things like s s see if I'm in parallel. So long polling, request to the server, give me new messages. 
objects if server sees I have new messages it returns the long polling becomes short and we close the connection long polling I ask the server give a new message